Hi everyone, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Droid. Let us discuss the working of quick sort with an example today. So what is a quick sort? How efficient it is and what type of problems we can solve by using quick sort? Each and everything I am going to discuss in my today's class. So quick sort is a highly efficient sorting algorithm and is based on partitioning of array of data into smaller arrays. Like how we have done in merge sort, where we will divide the problem into parts. In quick sort also, we will we are making use we are going to make use of similar approach, not the same but similar approach, where we are going to divide the entire array into smaller arrays. Okay. Next point, a large array is partitioned into two arrays, one of which holds value smaller than the specified value, say pivot, based on which the partition is made and, and, and another array holds value greater than the pivot value. You remember this important point dear students. This is the unique feature of this quicksort algorithm. In quicksort, once we take once an array is given to us which consists of unsorted values, what we are going to do? We are going to pick up one random element from that array. Okay, that random element can be called as a key or we can call them as pivot. So this is an element name random element we need to pick that element is known as a pivot element now once we pick up that element random element from the unsorted array which is a pivot element what we need to do we need to form two sub arrays again how we need to form two sub arrays one sub array consists of numbers less than the pivot element another sub array consisting of numbers greater than the pivot element like this we need to form two arrays how we can do that i will show you with example okay Next thing, quick sort partitions an array and then calls itself recursively twice to sort the two resulting subarrays. And once the arrays have been divided based on the pivot element condition, what we are going to do? Then we are going to perform sorting. And this procedure will repeat for the remaining parts of the arrays also. So how it is the, how how it can be done also I will show you. Okay. And this algorithm is quite efficient for large sized data sets. So like merge sort, which can be used for large set of data, even quick sort also can be used when the numbers are in huge quantity. When we want to sort huge list of numbers, quick sort can be applicable there also. Okay. Now I will show you one example now. With this example, it will be clear to you the working of quick sort and what is a pivot element and how to select the pivot element. Everything I am going to show you now. Okay, so let me take this example. Sort the following list of numbers using quick sort. So in exam, only if they ask you question, define quick sort, explain the working of quick sort with example. Simply you can elaborate what I have told you. You can elaborate that matter and you can give the same example which I am explaining. It is enough. And this question can be asked for long answer question in the exams. Or else, if the different numbers are asked in the exam then at that time also if you know the method properly you can solve the answer easily okay so let me show you the problem so these are the set of numbers 9 minus 3 5 2 6 8 minus 6 1 3 so these are the numbers it contains even negative values also this time this time intentionally i have taken negative values also to give you an idea about even what to do because some students will get doubt Sir, if negative values will be asked, how to solve them, sir? So, for that practical example, I have taken this one also to show you the difference. Okay. Now, first thing. So, I have arranged all these numbers now in the same order which I got, which I have got in the question. Same order I have arranged the values. Now, from this set of values, the first thing you need to do in quick sort is select the pivot element. So, Sir, which element we should select as pivots are any random element you can select. But it is advised, many people follow and I will also recommend to you that better select the pivot element, the last one. You fixed with one terminology. So that's why what I have done, I have taken the pivot element as which one? Number 3. 3 I have selected as the pivot element now. Okay, now next step, what I need to do means, as I have mentioned in the theoretical part, this entire array is there now here. This is the entire array which is in unsorted order. Now I need to form two subarrays in that. How many subarrays? Two subarrays. First subarray less than the pivot element. 
so in the first sub array which elements will come the elements which are less than the pivot and in the right sub array i will get the elements which are greater than the pivot so what is the pivot key here or the number here 3 so first sub array should contains the number which are numbers which are less than 3 second array should contains the numbers which are greater than 3 now let me tell you how to form that so this is the step less than 3 i will get this elements which elements minus 3 2 minus 6 1 from this unsorted array and this is the pivot element and greater than 3 i will get this elements 8 5 9 6 okay two sub arrays created and one pivot element is there now again repeat the same procedure now in this sub array I need to again select one pivot element now, new pivot element. So, which element I have selected you can see in the red color now, 1. Because I am following one procedure, procedure that I am going to select the last element as pivot. So, 1 I have selected. Similarly, in the second sub array, which pivot element I have selected? 6. 6 I have selected as the pivot element. Now, again I will get two sub arrays from this. So, uh, first sub array will contain the numbers which are less than 1 okay and second sub array will get the numbers which are greater than 1 let us see and similarly in the right side also what i will get the numbers which are less than 6 one sub array and the numbers which are greater than 6 another sub array let us see now now see here less than 1 i got this two numbers minus 3 minus 6 greater than 1 i got one number 2 and which is the pivot element 1 similarly from second sub array also less than 6 i got one number 5 greater than 6 i got two numbers 9 and 8 now what you need to do again sir shall i close the algorithm sir no algorithm will not close here again we need to see here two elements are there in this array again we need to split them into two parts based on which condition pivot condition so which key which element i have selected as a pivot here second element is the last element here that's why minus 6 i have selected as the pivot pivot element here so here i will get a small different condition what is that as this sub array contains only two elements that's why what i will do less than or equal to minus 6 will come in one sub array greater than minus 6 will come in second sub array less than or equal to minus 6 means even minus 6 will come in this sub array and here greater than or equal to minus 6 means here i will get minus 3 is it right similarly for last one also less than or equal to 8 i got 8 greater than 8 you got 9 you can ask one question sir for the entire problem you have not taken less than or equal to condition but here why you have taken less than or equal to condition because in this sub array only two elements are there so if we won't use less than or equal to condition then we will we will get empty array empty sub array that's why we, I, we have used less than or equal to condition here keep in this keep this point in your mind now is it clear now dear students now you stop your quick sort algorithm here okay now what we need to do here hasar whether we got the sorted list of numbers sir can you show us see here how to write the sorted list of numbers from left side you need to write the answer how minus 6 minus 3 1 2 see i will let me write minus 3 minus sorry minus 6 minus 3 1 2 3 5 6 8 and 9 this is the sorted list of elements we got minus 6 minus 3 1 2 3 5 6 8 9 so sorted data is let me check out whether it is correct or not minus 6 minus 3 1 2 3 5 6 8 9 100 percent correct so this is how the quick sort works finally whatever the individual elements which are separated we need to write them in the order which order left to right okay if you write from right to left you know what you will get descending order you will get big to small numbers but we don't want here we want the elements in ascending order only that's why i have written from left to right this is how quick sort works so dear students really if you like the video if you really if, if you find this video is helpful to you like the video and share our channel with all your friends and relatives and keep supporting our channel so with this let me close my today's session of video see you soon everybody take care allah peace